obviously it's a bit of a relief, is it, to get it out of the way? Um, I wouldn't say a relief. I would say it was a um, pretty proud moment to be able to re-sign with the Brumbies. You know, obviously um, grew up here and and um, you know idolised the Brumbies as a kid. So to be able to re-sign, I'd say it's a it's a pretty big thing for me and um, and very proud. And it sort of, uh, I guess, stabilises your future too, to a certain degree. It's nice to be wanted, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's very nice to be um, to be wanted and. Um, yeah, to be able to re-sign for the next couple of years gives me very bit of stability and um, you know, let, lets me sort of plan my uh, off-field life, I guess. Do you see yourself having a long-term future with the Brumbies? Um, yeah, hopefully. Um, you know, obviously want to be here um, for a long time and uh, you know, really enjoy playing for the Brumbies and uh, really enjoy the coaching staff and, uh, and the players, everyone teaching you um, how to play and, and different things um, around the game. Getting a few more minutes now too? Oh yeah, it's always good to be to um, to play, and you know, really enjoying um, getting my opportunity to be out there. Um, had a bit of time without it last year, and to be able to have a bit more of a crack this year, you know, really enjoying it. Do you feel like you've find, found your feet a bit more this season over the last few weeks? Um, yeah, I feel like I'm just getting more and more confident um, with each game that I play, and uh, you know, obviously it's a lot different to playing club footy, and just takes a little bit of time to sort of get used to, I guess. But yeah, really just happy to be out there and happy to be able to sort of contribute more to the team. Doing anything different this season to the last few? Um, just trying to be more relaxed and, and trying to enjoy it more. Um, you know, just trying to think of it as just another game of footy and um, not trying to get too worked up about um, about playing for the Brumbies, which is um, pretty easy to do. Mate, did you think, um, I know we've spoken to you a few times, but that second game, did you think it was never going to come? Um, yeah, there was a couple of points there when I, when, when I thought I might be might be done, I guess. Um, but, you know, luckily I wasn't. And, um, you know, I'm just really happy to, to be able to play, I guess, and um, to be able to represent the Brumbies. How, how tough is that mentally when, like, you get that first cap at, what, you were 19 at the time, I think, yeah. um, and then having to wait such a long time mentally thinking that you were done. How tough is that? Um, uh, it's... I've spoke to you about it before and about, about being tough, but you know, I, I guess it was put into reality uh, pretty early when you know, I see mum and dad and um, my brothers um, go to work and go to a real job, um, put on a suit and stuff, and I come in here and lift weights and, and, and run around and playing footy. And although it wasn't for the Brumbies, I got to play for Royals and, and uh, win a premiership, which was pretty special. So, yeah, it, it was tough um, not getting opportunity, but in saying that, it's not tough compared to what. Um, compared to what uh, other people have to go through every day. So you'd rather be doing this than building or being a barman like you were? Uh, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, um, just really enjoy it. it. You know, it's just footy and you know, I couldn't be happier to, to be able to play, um, play for a living, I guess. And um, you know, it's, a, it's a lot easier than, than going to work. What about, um, I think Laurie was still coaching here when you made your debut. Yep. Did he and Bernie talk to you about having to be patient, having to, to wait until you develop? Yeah, I guess it was sort of it, it, it was sort of mentioned, but um, I guess talking about it and and actually actually waiting a, a little bit different. And you know, I always understood that you know I was really young when I got my chance, and I'm so happy I got that chance. And you know, it just sort of made the, ma making this year a little bit more special, I guess, being able to to play and um, you know having having that time out watching was was sort of good in a way because now I, I really cherish it every time I get the opportunity. Would that be, um, does that help you at all in passing down advice to a guy like um, Jordan Jackson Hope who made his debut at 20 on the weekend? Um, but you know, you, you never know when that second cap's going to go, so you're someone who can pass on that advice to him? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Rabs is a pretty classy player. I don't think he'll, um, he'll be waiting quite that long. I, I, I think he'll get a lot more opportunity in the next coming years. So. Um, you know, Rabs is, is pretty classy and um, pretty skillful. So, yeah, just so stoked for him to, to get his debut. And, and like me, he's a local guy and trained really hard. And, um, yeah, I'm just really proud of him. What about the team as a whole? Do you feel like you got things back on track now? Um, yeah, I guess so. Um, it's sort of, you know, we just take it one week at a time. It's that old, um, I guess, cliche, but it really is that, that here, just focus on the next game. And I think everyone going away for the week will, um, will benefit everyone, just mentally refresh. and. Um, and I guess hang out and, and be a couch potato for a little bit and you know just do normal guy stuff is um, is pretty good for the for the mental side of things.